Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to this video. Um, I've been pretty busy at work, so I'm going to have to to try and do everything I can to, to stick to that commitment that I made of putting out at least one video a week, and that includes cutting out some of the intros and the things that pretty up the videos. So lots of straight edits and straight cuts in this, uh, if there are any at all. But I did kind of come across something that I found uh, really useful for those who are trying to get better at the command line, trying to learn the FortiGate command line a little bit better, and um, you know, a, an easy way to map what you know in the GUI over to uh, the command line equivalent. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly what that is in this video, but before we get started, my name is Chris Ray. I have InfoSec for Humans. Uh, it's just a little YouTube channel that I have where I help people build their cybersecurity skill sets. And in particular today, we're working on FortiGate. Uh, and, you know, I, I work a lot with Fortinet products. Uh, but I also have Over the Wire Bandit, Capture the Flag stuff, uh, just general professional development advice and anything and everything related to leveling up your cybersecurity career. So if you like what's going on here, consider subscribing to my channel because I make a lot of stuff that you will like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And I'll bring up the... Uh, little command line widget that uh, if you don't know it's a, it, it exists I'll point it out so you can log into the GUI like this and then up here you got this carrot with the underscore it says CLI console you can click that and that will launch a, uh, a little interactive console here so you don't have to fire up putty or MOBA XTerm or wh whatever your terminal emulator of choice is you can do it all right here from the GUI now like I said no more teasing I'm just gonna get right down to it there's a uh, diag debug command. So diagnose debug is, um, you know, that's what I'm talking about here. There's a diag debug command that you can issue that when turned on, it will print out the commands that are being, um, or sorry, it'll print out the changes and the command equivalents as you make changes in the GUI. So for instance, and I'll show you here. Let me blow this up a little bit. So for instance, uh, we will type diag debug and then CLI and then the number eight. Eight is the most verbose setting, meaning it's gonna print out the most detail. There's other settings, but for learning the command line and learning what different GUI features trigger different functions in the command line, we're gonna use eight. So we're gonna do diag debug eight. And I just had it turned on a minute ago for some playing around and testing. Normally it says 30 minutes, right now it says 24 minutes, uh, but in order to have these commands printed to the console, we then need to do diag debug enable or die d n. So they're enabled now. Let's go ahead and minimize this, hit this little bar. Uh, and all you have to do is go in here and you can make any setting change whatsoever, but I'm gonna go into feature visibility and this is really blown up. So bear with me here. Uh, let's turn off certificates. That's this right here. We don't wanna see that item anymore. So I'm gonna turn that off, hit apply wait for the confirmation we see there confirmed okay good open this console back up and now in here I'm gonna shrink this a little bit hopefully you can still see it so now in here you see a bunch of output uh, and these are very very technical you know they tell you exactly what the operating system is doing you can skip that but if you notice right here config says global set GUI certificates disable and then end which writes it as, as you know uh, so right there if you wanted to do what we did in the GUI there, if you wanted to do that in the command line, this is your command, or this is your set of commands. It's kind of neat. So if uh, if you're thinking to yourself, hey, I know how to do things in the GUI. I don't know how to do them in the command line. It's always quicker for me to do them in the GUI because I don't want to go and tab out or use the question mark or look up the CLI uh, dictionary on, on Fortinet's website. You can set this up and kind of teach yourself as you go, hey, this is how I do static routing. This is how I do dynamic routing. These are the command equivalents. And then you can go and you can learn and teach yourself as you go. So it's kind of neat. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, obviously, the, the use case that I've outlined here is just one use case. Uh, there's others where if you're importing a bunch of different configurations from uh, maybe another FortiGate into this, but you're getting errors, this is super useful to run while you're doing the import. Uh, and I imagine that there's other things I'm not even thinking of right now. If you think of something, though, let me know in the comments below, but also let me know below if this was helpful to you. Again, my name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career.